are going to solve question number 9 of exercise 7.2. The question says find the coordinates of the point which divide the line segment joining A and B into four equal parts. And the coordinates of A and B are given to us. So here we have to find the coordinate of these three points which divide this line segment into four equal parts. Now, if these three points divide this line into four equal parts, that means the distance between this line segment, this line segment, this line segment, and this line segment is equal. So if I consider the distance between these two points as one unit, so obviously the distance between these two units will be one, this will be one, and again this will be one. So the distance between these two points will be one unit, these two points will be again one unit, this is one unit, and this is one unit. So if I have to find the distance between this and this complete one, so that will be one ratio three. So we can say that this point divides this line segment in one is to three. Now I have to find the coordinate for this. Obviously, I have to use section formula and to find the first coordinate in section formula, I have to multiply diagonally. So, I have to multiply 1 with 2, that is the x coordinate, and then I have to multiply this with minus 2. So, 1 multiplied by 2 will be 2, and 3 multiplied by 2 will be minus 6. And in the denominator, I have to add these two. So solving this will be minus 4, it will be 4, and cancel cancelling these two values, it will be minus 1. Okay, now I have to find the y coordinate. Again, I have to, if I have to find the y coordinate, I have to multiply this with y and this with this y. So 1 multiplied by 8 will be 8. And 3 multiplied by 2 will be 6, and in the denominator it will be 1 plus 3. It will be 14 and 4. Solving this, it will be 7 upon 2. So we can say that the coordinate of P are minus 1 and 7 upon 2. Now I have to find the coordinate for Q. Now, if we look at this figure, or you can say if we look at this line closely. One thing is important that this Q is the midpoint for this complete line segment because the distance between these two points is two units and similarly the distance between these two points is again two units. So obviously this Q is the midpoint for this AB. So now instead of using section formula what I can do I can use midpoint formula. Okay now, now I have to find coordinate for these were the coordinate for P now I have to find the coordinate for Q and I have to use midpoint formula and in midpoint formula if I have to find the code x, x coordinate I have to add these two x and then divide it by 2 so I have to add the x values and then I have to divide it by 2 so it will be 0 upon 2 that is 0 Okay, now similarly if I have to find the y coordinate, again I have to add y and then I have to divide it by 2. So adding y will be 10 upon 2 that is 5. So here the coordinate for q must be 0 and 5. Now I have to find the coordinate for r. Now again look at this figure closely. This point R will act as a midpoint for these two points Q and B because the distance between these two points is 1 unit and again the distance between these two point and point is 1 unit. So R will act as the midpoint for Q and B. Again, I can use the midpoint formula to find out the coordinate of R and the coordinate of Q are 0 and 5. So, if I have to find the x coordinate, I have to add x 
and I have to divide it by 2. It will be 1. Now, if I have to find the value of y, I have to add y coordinates and then I have to divide it by 2. It will be 13 by 2. So, the coordinates of r must be 1 and 13 by 2. So, this is my answer for this particular question. So, this is how you can solve this question. If you like this video, Please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. Our phone number, email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.